It's not going to look that clean when it's all squished, though. This is your game. It's your time to shine. Oh my god, I can't. I've got to send it. Play medium, dude. No, no. This game isn't as hard as the other one. Plus, you can change the difficulty. Wait, so Nephilim is hard. Yes. Oh, okay. But then there's harder, hardest, harder. Oh, okay. So as long as you're not. <laughs> and like... then there's impossible after that one. Hello and welcome to a new edition to do the games. We have played the sort of intro chapter before. I've played this before, but it was full screen and it all DC. Exploit has a problem with alt tabbing, so um. So now we're playing it windowed. Yep. Uh, you guys won't notice the difference because it's still higher than 720p for but us. But they will now because we fucking told them. No, they won't. We record it really low quality anyway. Also, Jim doesn't want to play it at Ultra because... I don't know. Because fuck you, that's what. Yes, apparently, it's really, my man. apparently it's really well optimized, but I don't know. Uh, I'll put subtitles on afterwards. No, don't. I should. Well, I'm not going to fucking listen to it. Well, I want to know the story. Am this I going to be talking sells over virility, it? which is a drink. He's a pretty thinly veiled demon. No, this is yeah, he's got like a bad eye or something. Based on like the gothic ass fucking. Direct. Also from the giant ass yeah. dark portal he has in his fucking <laughs> office. That could be. It's like that could be postmodern. Uh, sure <laughs> it's like yeah, I got my my chair. And the chick who wears nothing. Got my chair, my desk, all my news monitors, and my evil dark portal, and yeah. then the back door. So. Friday it is. I like, I like Ed's door over the top, you but this game's a bit obnoxious. I don't like Mr. it. President. You fucking keep saying you like it, you don't like it. Make up your goddamn mind. I like the opening cutscene for how like funny it is. It's funny over the top, whereas this is dumb over the top. This is setting up the... It, you gotta have a plot. Of some no, look, look at that. Well, Character well, design. Okay, it's a... It's a lady. It's because she's a demon as well. In her underpants. She's a demon. She also looks like Bobby Mickey Rourke. Rourke. She looks like Mickey Rourke. Um, that's not underwear. That's like sexy night equipment. It's like skin color. She looks like she's been burned. Yeah, she looks a bit weird. Oh, it is a dress. Oh, how did you not realize it was a dress? I thought it was like weird skin. God, look at her face. She's ugly as fuck. Look at him. They're both demons. He looks like a really weird version of um. He's got one of those butt foreheads. The guy from The Wire. People that have seen The Wire will know what I mean. By which I mean no one will know what I mean because no one's seen The Wire. I mean, that's fucking uh, amazing. She looks like she's had too much plastic oh, surgery as well. Yeah, yeah Mickey Rourke has. Like, yeah, like people have been cutting at her face. And it's like, nah, stop it. I don't want that anymore. A little knife and fork. Do the other. Air. <laughs> Having a little go at her face. Uh, this next scene is my favorite scene in like the fucking game, which is like the entirety of all the Devil May Cry three cutscenes. Yeah. But not Ooh, this one. I'm an angel. I'm pole dancing. Wait, are you fucking serious, game? What? Is that an angel pole dancing? Is someone dressed up as an angel? Fucking. Oh, I thought it was actually an angel. No. This is Devil May Cry, I mean. Yeah, well. I'm beating you with this for a while. Don't. Fucking... Where'd you get that from? You just pull it out of your ass? Jesus! It sits in the couch to stop the upholstery from popping out. It stops, it stops my couch from getting. Yeah, the upholstery, yeah. And upholstery prolapse. Ew. Keeps it tucked. Oh, God, don't talk about prolapses. Oh, look, it's a demon. Now lady. they're demons! She's all like, ugh. Maybe they're angels, maybe they're dressing up as angels, but they're actually demons and they work at a nightclub because that's a perfect job. Check it out, the camera's shaking around and flashing different colors and the text is all like gothic. And that guy's eyes are bleeding and it goes <laughs> And Dante, <laughs> so Dante sees things and throws bottles at them. <laughs> so Dante's a crazy man. Um, it's kind of a weird game, yeah. Yeah. It also has I wish Marilyn Manson was still culturally relevant so he could have soundtracked this song when he did his pre peak well, prime. Peak prime. Pre break. It's prime break. break. Puberty. When you hit puberty, yeah, uh, cu cultural puberty, cultural puberty. Oh, okay. Is Dante getting um, blow gobs, blobbies, bobs, bobs, bobs. He's having a ninja blumpkin. Why are they touching his guns? Well, yeah, he, has, he has a bender, and he wakes up in. What's a bender? Call me dumb. Go ahead. Yeah, you dumb. What is it? Uh, it's when you drink a whole shit ton, or like do shit ton of drugs. What? Okay, why don't you bender. just call that getting smashed? Same thing. Going well, on a bender. Why call it a bender? Why because th different words come from different fucking places. Well, people should have different right. words. I don't give a shit if you don't know what words mean, that's fine. But if you come back and say, oh, why is it that? Yeah, but why would you refer to it as that when we're a fucking Australian? It's a bender. Oh, Australians geez. use that word as well. I never heard that used by anyone but you. You've never heard anything used before because you grew up under a rock. Patrick Star. Maybe because you go out fucking clubbing all night with your cool hip friends. Yeah, that's how I learned what the word bender was by going on one. Uh huh, yeah. It wasn't because I read books or watch shows or culturally enrich my life. Unlike you, Mr. I'm gonna watch Buffy a hundred times. 
Who the fuck says I watch Buffy? What do you watch? American Horror Story. I don't watch Buffy? Buffy's dumb. You're watching, you're watching American Horror Story. Yes. What's yeah. wrong with that? What the fuck is that? What do you mean what the fuck is that? It's a good show. Uh-huh. Have you seen it? You know what I'm watching at the moment? I'm watching Life, man. No, I'm watching Archer. I finished it. I've caught up. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Archer's amazing. You're watching Archer. Show about hey, dumb cartoon spy. Don't pay out Archer, man, or you will enter. American zone Horror Story Season 2 dangerous. shows the horrors of an asylum plus aliens. Wow. I love really geeky shows. How's mm. that geeky? Horror TV show. What? That's geeky. Yeah, you got ants on your fucking can again. Again? Ants everywhere. Fucking ants! <laughs> ants! <laughs> Please don't make this episode ants again. Oh my god. Last <laughs> time we played DMC, it was during ants. the entire opening cutscene, it was ants. I'm tired now. Oh my god, they're so quick. It was goddamn ants. Look, they're under here. They're not on my one though. My, my, my cup's too far gone. I put ants. Alright, I explained this last time, but we cut the episode. Well, we didn't air it. I thought we were going to be fucking released from anyway, this horror. I, leave, I left a can of V on the side count of five minutes, ants found it. Because it's really hot today. Alright, goodbye Jim. He'll be back later. Um, but basically, a little bit of background for anyone who doesn't know what the fuck this is. It's a reboot of Devil May Cry, which had its fourth game. And now, Ninja Theory, the guys behind, like, I don't know, some games, they're doing it. And a lot of people hate it, because it's got this faggy-ass Dante in it. He looks like a bit of a... a bit of a prick. But it's gotten nothing but good reviews. Or at least good to medium reviews. And that's why we're playing it. And Jim's complaining. Because he doesn't like games that aren't Dark Souls. Isn't that right, Jim? Okay. You don't like games that aren't Dark Souls. No, I like a lot of games. No. But Just go with it, Jim. Look, he's putting like his pants on his this, Yeah, this scene's great. It's funny. But all the other shit's, like, not funny. It doesn't accomplish anything. just creates characters that alienate the player. I mean... What do you mean? What kind of bullshit is that? Like this character, no one can relate to him. No one would, no one would possibly like him. You so what you do is you got to play at the comedy angle, which they do every once in a while, and it's good. But Sometimes you can just have a fucking dumbass cool guy, and people can be like, "Wow, I'm playing as a dumbass cool guy." Yeah, but if you take if you take the audience by surprise and then make them relatable or make them an actual character, you can really make a big impact. But this game isn't going that. for story or it's impact. Gone. This game is then going for. Then the first ten minutes of cut scenes, Nathan. Explain that. Because they need to develop some kind of plot to follow. It doesn't matter how good it is. I thought they weren't going for story. I, I, I never said they weren't going for story. I said so they're they not going, going for story, story, but they're going to waste my time by showing you. Yeah. Alright. Great start to the well, game. Well, how would Cap you have this... How, how would you have this game play out as plot? If you don't want to focus on story, go straight to the tutorial level, throw some gameplay out, and then bring the plot in in a naturalistic way. It's a triple-A game. You need to have a story. Like, it's just kind of written. Triple-A in a inner kick it. And a chakik? And a jerk Is the kick. word. <laughs> Jeez, Jim. Fucking... God. Yeah. Get your shit together, Jim. Sorry, guys. For all the people who get bugged by subtitles, but we can't fucking hear a thing without us talking over it. Well, we can just be quiet. Nathan, when we talk over it, we're not reading! What? I'm reading. No, oh, God. Your brain is just different. Yeah, Jim, it is. Oh, alright. I'll talk to Nathan on Steam, like, hey, what's up? Like, oh. I'm just watching a TV show and playing a game and listening to music at the same time. I don't listen to music, because then I can't hear the fucking show, can I? Oh, yeah. If you could, though. I use each one of my fucking senses at a time. It's like a multi-core process I, I can shit I can, at everything. I can hear, I can see, I can touch, I can... S oh, so, I so, can't so, smell anything. Oh, like. I'm playing a video game, watching TV, and touching my dick. <laughs> What's up? No, I'm touching my controller. Which is almost as good. My guns? Jesus. My guns? Oh, bruh. So, um... It's like a test. See, that's fine. Anyway, like, if you want to hide and... I don't know, it seems like if you want to take a character to their extreme, which is what they're doing. Uh, yeah. What? Take it to a more than one extreme. That's they what take they do to the extreme of douchiness. Wanna take him to anyway. They kinda did that in Devil May Cry 3. Like, he was just completely stupid. Like, if you watch the cutscenes for Devil May Cry 4, it's fucking ridiculous. Like all the all the cutscenes where he gets his new weapons, it's just like completely over the top and dumb. And I don't think this game quite gets that. But the gameplay is still just as good. Like they make him a bit more of a dumbass, cocky douchebag rather than like, you know. Anyway, I disapprove wholeheartedly of this game. No, you don't. Gameplay is alright. You said right. you like it. You said it, you you said we're perfectly fine with playing this game. Yeah. Yeah. So is the word I and like and it anywhere in that sentence? You said I'm totally happy with playing this game. I never said I liked it. 
well, if you're happy with it, then surely there must be some. Hey, if I liked it, I'd say I like it, but I didn't because I don't. Oh my god! Jesus. Jesus, are you trying to tell me how I feel about something again? Fuck you! I'm trying to interpret your words. Yeah, in ways that I'm not. If I was dead and I wrote a book, then you can interpret my words all you fucking want because I'm not there to say no. That's not what I meant. No, I'm sitting right next to you and I'm telling you, I fucking hate this game, but I don't mind playing it at all. I just can't tell whether you fucking protest to playing a game or what. I protest to playing a game that's not entertaining. It's sure it's entertaining, but I still fucking hate it as a game. Oh my god. There's... Like, well, like I've said with everything else, there's room... Can you not handle a nuanced opinion or something? There's room for these kind of games. I don't know. Yeah, there's plenty of room for it. I just wouldn't buy it or play it. I guess so. We've got good reviews and I like the last games. That's why I bought it. Reviews don't mean jack shit. They do actually. I really hate reviewers these days. They don't understand games. Like, maybe not a, a single review, but if there's reviews from everywhere that are generally all positive, well, the thing then it reviews, means it's not a bad game. Game reviews in the last 15 years, they're way too focused on number on numbers, yeah. Oh, numbers are objective. By the way, look at Opinions this are completely subjective. You can't put a number to something if it's your opinion. Oh, yeah. and too many reviewers, ugh, they don't appreciate their role. Look at this. Look at this. He's fucking like in limbo. He's pointing a gun at her. Look at my tits. Look at my tits. Look at him. Look at him. And he's like, I'm wearing a hoodie. It's obviously cold. If I pull the trigger, what a fucking asshole. He's like, what if I shot you right now? Or what happened then? Look at my chest. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> nah, I know it's that kind of game. I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think I think reviews are fine though. I don't know. Like, you can get a general opinion from from reviews. Generally. Yeah, you can find extremes, but if you're really looking for like, I don't, I don't buy every game that reviewers tell me to because it's like, oh, COD is so great. It's like I get a general opinion, like how is this game compared to other games? This person like, COD hasn't been great in a number of years. I don't trust COD reviews anyway because they always get like, like I'm reviews. sure on their own merit they're interesting, but as part of a series, they don't do anything new or interesting. So why fucking play them? Yeah, play the first one, appreciate what the series like did for games, and then just ignore the rest because they're just cashing in. They don't bring anything new to it. Um, reviewers don't seem to appreciate that. Well, reviewers uh, say this game is as good as the last one, and we gave the last one a high score. So we yes, give this, this one gets high. No, score. you gotta, you can't say this one's identical to the last one, so we're gonna give it as good a score. No, you say this one is just the last one. We're giving it a low score because the developer this one is dated. Has failed to innovate. Pretty much. Um, <laughs> there are some reviews you trust, and some you don't. They've created a well polished experience, which is identical to the last well polished experience. Pretty much the main reason I watch reviews is to yes, see. There's nothing there. Go away. The main reason I watch reviews is to see footage of gameplay and what people think of it. But I don't always take their word as fucking, like, law. Um, I got a few reviewers whose opinion I trust, such as Yahtzee, because he hates everything. And so, I trust that if he likes something, it's fucking extraordinary. I guess so. But at the same time, he likes so many games that are good, like, but not perfect. Yeah. Like, they're worth playing, but not, like, perfect. Well, what did like, he recommend I recommend recently? He recommended DMC. Did he? Yeah, he said it's a big pile of wank, but uh, regardless, it's pretty charming. Yeah, well, it, I think it does what it's setting out to do uh, I feel well. like this game might win me over, but... So far, like, I played Darksiders, I played God of War, why should I play this? Um, because it's... Well, I mean, DMC was, like, one of the fucking originals, and this is pretty core to the original values. Yeah, but why not just play DMC? Because it's old. Nathan, that's not an arc. Alright, I fucking hate people that... Uh, <laughs> Anyway. It's, it's valid if you don't. If you, you, you don't know, play you old know games. my thoughts on people that don't like old games. Yeah, I don't. I don't like really, really old games. But uh, Devil May Cry Three isn't that old. By the way, we're fucking done with this game. So. Yeah. So see you see next it. episode. See you next episode. Hey, it's Jim through the games. Thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. If you liked today's episode, you know what to do. And if you haven't already, you should subscribe because we release through the games episodes daily, and we do specials every week. And if you haven't already, tell your friends, tell your parents, tell everyone. Anyway, uh, thank you very much.